This video will cover the advanced options available when customizing questions used in TeamMaker Survey. To reach advanced settings in Question Manager, select the question you would like to edit. Please note that you will not be able to edit any of the questions that come pre-made in the system. Also, you will not be able to edit any questions that are currently being used in TeamMaker surveys. However, you can edit any question that you have written or imported from the community questions. From the question editor page, you can select the advanced settings button in the upper right hand corner. The advanced settings screen is used to select advanced options for questions. These options are all defaulted to the most common settings, but you may use this to tailor the questions for more complex circumstances. Under student surveys, you can choose whether or not students are required to answer the question. Also, you can have the question display in a drop-down or with buttons shown to the right. Under the instructor results, you can adjust the weight range. This will impact how strongly you are able to weight the question. For example, the more negative a weight is, the more the system will try to group students with different answers for this question, while the more positive, the more the system will want to group students with similar answers. While you can set the weight range here, you will still be able to set a specific weight for each survey when you use this question. The default weight is the weight that the question will automatically set to when you use the question, but this is also easily adjusted for individual surveys. The scoring label control can be used to shift between two different labeling schemes for the weight range. Next, you can choose how your students' answers will be displayed to you in the survey results. You can choose between using storage values and display values you set on the question editor page. Under loading data, you can set the column name so that if you use this question in a survey, but you already have your students' answers saved in a CSV file, you can load the CSV file directly into TeamMaker, and the system will read the file and use the results without requiring your students to fill out the survey. Under Minority and Gender Related, you will see one of our most complex controls. One uses this option to help the system distribute team members evenly who have similar answers for questions with minority weighting. The majority answer setting is only available when minority weighting is turned on and multiple choice questions are being asked. Next, we see the Segments Other Minority Groups checkbox. This controls the interplay between multiple minority groups, for example, the system question regarding gender has this box checked, and this means that another question with this box checked would multiply the number of multiple choice options by those of gender. If a question had two possible answers, A and B, and a survey had this and gender, it would mean that there would be four minority groups, male A, male B, female A, and female B. Once you have set all the adjustments you want on the Advanced Settings page, select the Save or Save and Return button in order to save your changes. Your question will be saved in the same place on the Question Manager page and will be available to use at any time.